Hi, this video blog is being brought to you by David Allen and Associates. It comes to you every week with breaking legal news. I'm David Allen. It was the case of the jilted bride, bride for a jury in Gainesville, Georgia. Rosemary Shell sued former fiance Wayne Gibbs for $150,000. You may have seen the video. You probably have seen the blogs. Woman in Georgia sues because her fiance doesn't go forward with the marriage and gets $150,000. But is that the full story? Well, here on Legal Video Blog, we're happy to tell you the whole story in terms of what happens in the law. Is this just about the fact that somebody didn't go forward in the marriage and they were subject to big damages? Is that going to happen every time? Well, in reality, no, it won't. And why not? Because this case wasn't just about a breach of promise to marry. This case was about detrimental reliance. Now, what the heck is detrimental reliance? Detrimental reliance is a concept in the law that's for contracts. Basically, what it provides is if somebody makes a promise and the other individual acts on that promise to their detriment, they get their damages back. What happened in this instance? This woman, Rosemary Shell, said she was living in Florida. She had a decent job. She accepted the offer to marry, moved to Georgia. She said she gave up her job, that she had the various expenses, that she was losing opportunities in her career, and that when her fiance chose not to go forward, well, she was damaged. She had expenses, and that what she wanted was reimbursement of those expenses, and that's what the jury gave her. This thing could happen in various other ways. Let's say that someone comes to you and says, my dad recently died, unfortunately, and I have a house full of furniture across the country. If you go pick it up, you can have half the furniture and you get first pick. You go ahead, you do that. You travel across the country, you pick it up, you come on back, and your friend says, I'm sorry I changed my mind because my sister says she has to have some of the furniture or whatever else. What happens in that situation? You also have a claim for detrimental reliance. You detrimentally relied. You have expenses. You drove across the country. You have the fuel costs, which today are pretty significant. You came on back. You maybe lost time from work. You have a right to bring claim for those damages. And that's what happened in this instance. This woman simply brought a claim for the damages that she had. It wasn't a matter that it was a breach of a marital contract. It was the fact that it was detrimental reliance. As I've indicated, that could happen in all kinds of situations. So just because that guy or gal said she was going to say, I do, and he or she does not, doesn't mean that you're going to collect any money. Hey, we're here every week for you. My name's David Allen. If you have any questions, drop us an email at the email address adjacent to this video blog or log on to davidallenlaw.com. We'll be happy to respond to your questions. We'll be happy to talk about them in our future video blogs. You've got questions. We've got answers. We're here for you. I'm David Allen.